Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog and a very Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you all had a lovely holiday. Those of you who are still celebrating with extended family, um, I hope you are continuing to have a lovely holiday week. Um, some people celebrate for a whole week or 12 days from here on out. There's lots of different ways. Today I wanted to share with you guys what I got for Christmas. I mentioned doing this before Christmas and everybody was like, yeah, show us what you got. So I decided to wait until after Christmas because I didn't have time to film it before. And I decided to add in what um, other people got us for Christmas as well, just to make it a little more fun. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please do. We've got some wonderfully exciting things happening in the new year um, and I can't wait to share all that with you. So definitely watch this space and come hang out with us because it's gonna be a fun year. Um, without further ado, let me show you what we got for Christmas. And by we, I mean my husband and I, because I'm gonna show you a couple of my husband's things and some stuff we get gifted together. And then I'll just let you know if I bought it for myself, um, stuff like that, because I did buy myself Christmas presents. Okay, one of the first things that I got myself for Christmas that you guys might have noticed already is this letter board. I'm so excited. I didn't want a letter board for the longest time and then slowly, I'd say over the past year, I was like, mm, maybe I do want a letter board. So I went ahead and bought myself one this year and I'm so excited. I've had so much fun with it already. Um, it's just such a fun little piece to have in the background of videos or to use as photo props or just to have in the house. Um, I'm such a quote girl. I, if anybody, if you know me in person, you know that I am full of quotes. I'm always quoting things. I always have quotes. Letterboard is totally my jam. So that's one thing I got myself for Christmas. Something else um, that my husband got for Christmas. Okay, so what we did this year, sometimes we shop a little bit after Christmas. Sometimes we give each other a budget on Christmas so that we actually have gifts to open under the tree together. Um, some years we just wait and go shopping after and we have a big mall day. It just depends what we feel like, really. So this year we just gave ourselves a modest budget and said, okay, go buy yourself something and make sure it comes in before Christmas, we'll wrap it, put it under the tree. Then we might have our own shopping day as well later. So with my husband's budget, he used his whole budget on one thing. So while I got like quite a few little things for myself, he got himself one big thing and it's this drone. Here's the remote. This is, I don't know, drone stuff very much so he got this for himself he films some videos um kind of on his own and then he was excited to kind of help me with the vlogs he said we could film some cool stuff with this so it's like it hooks up to your phone so you can record video and I don't, it's really cool he's been flying it around i'm really excited for him to be able to go outside and do it um but he got himself this drone and he's super happy about it um He's also been honestly playing with the Xbox and all the games we got the kids too. So he's very, very happy about that. And that is where his budget went to this drone, um, which I'm not mad about. Why would I be mad about it in the first place? That was a weird thing to say. But anyway, um, I think it's going to be really cool. And it's going to be really cool to have a couple of drone shots maybe in the vlogs in the future, especially think like camping when we go camping or in our summer hiking adventures, maybe get some cool drone footage for the vlogs would be really neat. Okay, something that we got together, we got gifted this together from um, my husband's parents, is this rock griddle. So we love the Heritage Rock collection. We have pans and stuff from this line, um, but they got us this griddle. So that will be really good for my husband when he makes steaks and stuff. And it's nice for us too, because I like grilled veggies. I really like grilled pineapple. So we can make some and it's smokeless, by the way. You put some water in the bottom and it doesn't create any smoke. So that's really, really, really awesome. And apparently it works really great because we know some people with it. So I'm excited to have that. It's been a while since we've had a griddle. So that was a really practical, lovely gift that we are both really excited to use. Something else we both got from um, our in- well, my in-laws are some more stainless steel water bottles. They are hot and cold, I think. That'll be really handy. We have we, if you guys know us, then you know we're like, especially in the summer, we're always camping, hiking, doing all that kind of stuff. So it's really good to have a lot of water bottles for everybody to pack around. And especially it can be hard to find water bottles that fit in the cup holders of the car. So I'm really excited because these fit in the cup holders of the car. Um, so that will be nice. You can never have too many water bottles. Something my husband got for Christmas was this sushi kit. And um, he loves, loves, loves Japanese food. So I'm really excited for him. So it comes with like this 
I don't know what this does. I think you like you put it in there and it pushes them out and you can slice them. I don't know. It comes with a sushi knife and the roller. And Sorry about that. My camera cut off because I hadn't taken any of the Christmas footage off of my phone yet. So uh, it was a little over overfilled. Uh, so it cut me off. But anyway, um, a really nice chopstick set came with that as well. But Cody already took that out and I don't know where he put it. So. Oh, it's okay. No, it's fine. Oh, no, I give. Okay. It's key, huh? Poor Finn. <laughs> ah, here it is. Okay. So it comes with this little bag, and they're really, really nice chopsticks. It comes with a few of them. A little design right there. So I'm really excited to start incorporating sushi nights into our weekly meal plan. Cody can make us some yummy sushi once a week, maybe. Or like maybe we'll do it once a month. I don't know. We'll see how hard it is. We'll see how easy it is with this. And then he can be, he can determine how often he's going to use it. Okay, something I bought for myself is a new purse because I feel like I didn't have anything neutral that was like a medium size. I have a lot of different size bags and I needed something that was like, I don't know, bigger than my smaller ones, but a more neutral one because I, I have a medium one that's just not very neutral. It doesn't go with every outfit. I'm not a purse person, you guys. I'm not somebody who's gonna go. Person. I'm not a person. Um, <laughs> I'm not somebody who's gonna go and spend a whole bunch of money on a purse. I just don't care enough to do that. I put my purse down in th like they just. I just go through like when my purse is done, it's done. I'll like donate it or something. Like I just can't be bothered to spend a lot of money on it. So I got this on Amazon for myself. I think it's really cute. It's just a black one. I think this is my first black purse, um, which is why I needed a neutral. It's really cute. It's got, it comes with this little clip on furry pom pom thing, but it's got three storage compartments inside and it comes with a strap, which I like. Um, so there's your middle bit with your zippers and stuff. And then it's got these extra two compartments and two zipper or one zipper on the outside. So this is going to be perfect for what I need it to do. And it's going to go with any outfit I wear, which is nice because I was finding I was going out and I was like, oh, I dressed up and my purse is just not, not there. It cannot join me, so I got myself a new purse for Christmas. Something I should have showed you a minute ago was the book that Cody also got from his parents uh, that went with his sushi kit was a sushi book. So it's got, what is this? It's just called Sushi, The Beginner's Guide by A.M. Matani. I don't know how, I just butchered that last name. That's my apologies, but it's a really handy book and it looks pretty fun. I'm excited. I'm excited for you oh, to start so making stoked. sushi. I love sushi, man. Cody also got other stuff from his parents, but I don't need to show you that. So, what this is that? mostly just mine. Well, like, you got, like, some clothes and stuff. That, oh, yeah, I got some socks. Socks and pajama socks and pants and stuff like that. You know, stuff you usually get from your parents. Stuff that somebody always gives you for <laughs> a holiday. Yeah. Okay, something else I bought myself was a new planner for 2020. Now, I am very... I bought a planner last year. And I have loved it so much. I've used it every single day this year. I'm a written planner kind of girl. And um, I love, love, love this brand in this specific planner. And so I was on the hunt and it took me a couple weeks to find it, but I found it and this is the one I got. So this is a Clementine planner. Um, it's made out of recycled materials, which is super nice. And it's a weekly and a monthly planner. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And then, you flip it to your month. Let's just flip it to February here. So it has your like monthly calendar spread and boxes are nice and big, but then it also goes into each week. Oh, it's also like notes for each month, which I definitely use and love that feature. And then these are your weeks and they're so big that I can write my whole schedule every day in and like goals of the day and my reminders for the day. I love this planner and these planners are really expensive online, but they're quite cheap. If you can find them at HomeSense, HomeSense does carry a whole bunch of Clementine planners. So um, I would definitely check out HomeSense or anything equivalent that carries that sort of thing. Um, it's my favorite planner. So I had to get myself a new one and I like this print, it's fun. Something else I bought myself for Christmas were these, what are, are these Norwegian slippers, Cody? Is that what they were? I think so. I think so brand's called Rock Dove, but they're really cute, hard bottom slippers for the house, which is nice. I needed something, we have really hard floors, and so I needed something that was going to help my hips out a little bit, because walking around all day on these, like, cement bottomed floors 
they hurt my bum. Um, so I got these really padded, padded slippers and I really like the design. House slippers. I am an old lady, you guys. I just like cozy things. That's my life. I love cozy things. Okay, let me share with you guys a couple more things from Cody's family to the both of us. So we got some new stainless steel straws and these ones have silicone tips so that they don't hit your teeth, which is nice. You can never have too many and these are bigger size, which I'm really excited about because ours are kind of on the thinner, like on, on the smaller side, so they're not as wide. Um, so these ones will be really, really good for smoothies because sometimes with the thinner stainless steel straws, a chunk of smoothie will just clog it and nobody wants that. So these are really nice and I really appreciate these. Something else they got us, which I'm super stoked for, even though it's such a random little thing for a lot of people, is this silicone like cup and water bottle washer. And it comes with this straw portion too for the, um, just some of the, sometimes it's just really hard to reach those. I've gotten the like brushes that you brush them out with. I find they don't work as well. They get, they're too floppy at the end. So like they can't, you can't put enough force in them to really get some of the bottoms. We recycle a lot of, um, honey jars from the farmer's market as our drinking glasses and I can't stick my hand in them. So I needed something and I saw this and they didn't know we needed this but it was so handy i think they got it because they got us those water bottles because they're hard to clean the insides of so this is so handy and i love that it's silicone and we'll have it for a really long time we don't have to throw it out so that's nice cody's parents are great for getting us really practical things i feel like everybody's parents kind of does that right you get the practical stuff from your parents um they also got us these master chef mixing bowls with lids which i'm so excited about because i make cookie dough and then i'll like make the balls and put them in the fridge so that you can have some fresh cookies every night if you want to before bed. And the hard thing is when your mixing bowls don't have lid, you have to like go find a container and uh, this makes it a lot easier. So I can just make it pop a, bowl, pop a lid on and put it in the fridge and be done with it. So I'm really excited. We've also had the same mixing bowl since we moved in together, I think. Right, Cody? Probably. We've had that mixing bowl for a long time, many, many years. It's still going strong, but it was time for some new ones. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys was to, I think this one was specifically to me, but Cody and I will both get use out of this one from Cody's parents, um, is this dehydrator. And I'm so excited. It's a small, easy dehydrator, so it doesn't take up too much room on, the, on your counter or anything. And these ones are relatively quiet, I was because I was looking at reviews for it, and I had mentioned that I would, wouldn't mind a dehydrator. Um, so I'm really, really excited because Cody can make his jerky and stuff, but I can make fruit, I can dry herbs, I can make tea, um, do kale chips, all that sorts of stuff. There's so many things you can do with a dehydrator and I'm really, really into just making everything I can from scratch. I love doing that. So anything that can make that a little bit easier, especially after the ornament fiasco with the apples. If you guys watched Vlogmas this year, then you know what I'm talking about. We had a bit of a disaster with some uh, dehydrated ornaments that we were going to do on the tree. Um, this is going to avoid any future uh, disasters. Right, dear? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, this, they got me this too. So it's something else Cody's parents got me. It's a milk frother, an electric frother, which I'm so happy about because if you watch my vlogs and you watch me make coffee in the morning, sometimes when I want like something fancier, I will emulsify my milk with a hand blender to froth it. And I end up using like four more dishes than I need to. And this one, you can just like do it in the cup, which is so handy. I'm really excited to try this out because I've wanted a frother for a long time because anything to make you have fancier coffee quicker is better because I don't have fancier coffee more often. So I am so excited <laughs> about my milk frother. Okay, I have a couple of stocking bits to show you that I put in my own stocking just because I bought them and I wanted them. So I figured they would fit in here. Um, so if you watch the vlog about like what was in our stockings and what we got for like our Christmas Eve pajamas that I mentioned that I got a second pair of socks that was like buy one get one so I put one in my stocking and these are them the little mousy pink socks these are the comfiest warmest socks ever they've got grips but they're like wool but I'm sure they're not wool um super super cozy though I really love these something else I put in my stocking that is kind of random but I wanted to show you because it's amazing and you guys need to know this 
I got this off Amazon and it's called True Lemon. And if you have no idea what True, if you already know what True Lemon is, then you know, you know why I wanted this in my stocking. But if you don't already know what this is, it's like crystallized dehydrated lemon. That's all that's in this. There's, it's, it's really um, chill ingredients, but you can get this in packets as well, like just single use paper packets. I just got the shaker because that's what I found. Um, no, on Amazon can what on Canadian Amazon sometimes it's harder to find the things and I saw somebody recommend this that was American so I couldn't find the packets but I think I need to dig deeper next time but anyway you just sprinkle this in your water instead of having to chop up lemons all the time and it tastes exactly like lemon water like and you can put this on half of an avocado and put it in the fridge and it doesn't brown you can put this like anything you would need lemon you can just use a sprinkle or a little shake of this and it works but specifically i bought this for you know my tea or having hot or cold lemon water first thing in the morning i've been doing that for years um so i put this in my stocking i love it it's just for like cooking and seasoning and you can get lime and other things like that so i wanted to share this with you guys if you want me to link this on amazon then let me know um, but yeah, it's called True Lemon. I highly recommend that one. I'm excited. Something else I put in my stocking are these hair clips, but they're a little different. So I'm going to just show you what the, I haven't taken them out of the package yet. There's bows and triangles and moons and some leaves. I did take one out to wear one though, and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, they're really pretty. So this is a moon and it's got a clip in the back and it's actually really strong. I have incredibly thick hair and I was able to do like a half up thing and clip my hair yesterday. Um, I'm loving these. So I put these in my stocking. They were from Amazon. They were like $13. Something else I put in my stocking were these earrings and I have not opened them yet. So it's hard to show you guys what they look like, but they're little like moon and star earrings. Let me try and take one out and I'll show you guys. So I love a good moon, star, space, witchy vibe, anything. Uh, so when I saw these, I was like, yes, I need these. So this is what they look like. Oh, come on. They're really, really cute. I'm super excited to wear these. I saw them and was like, oh, I need these. So I got these off Amazon and I'm actually really impressed with them. They're really heavy and they're, they seem to be decent quality. So um, that is the other thing I had put in my own stocking. Now I have two more gifts to show you that I bought myself and then I have my Secret Santa gift. So this year our family did Secret Santa and I'm absolutely in love with what the person who had me got me. So I wanted to show you that. But first, the second last thing I got myself for Christmas was this crochet set. It comes in this really cute little case, which is quite nice and in quite good quality. But I got myself, my so my friend bought these and then I saw them and was like, I need these. So. It comes with all these crochet hooks with um, handles. Sometimes when you're crocheting with metal, it can take the heat out of your hands and it makes your hand more fatigued and more tired. So these silicone handles will stop that. There's so many of them. So all different sizes, which is so cool. So handy to have in one. And then it comes with like metal needles or in a bunch of other little things like cutters and, and markers and if you crochet, you know what's probably in here. Um, so I crochet quite a lot. So I really wanted that so badly. So I bought it myself. And I love how portable it is because if you guys watch, then you know every Tuesday I go to my girlfriend's house and we crochet and watch movies. And so I love that I can just like pop that in my purse and bring it along with me. So the next, the last thing I bought myself is something I really wanted. And it's like stuff like this I don't buy myself normally because I'm like, ah, oh, I don't need it right now. I'm fine. So that's why I like on Christmas or my birthday, I'll just treat myself a little bit. And something I like, I really wanted to treat myself to was a new Oracle card deck. So if you guys are new, then maybe you think I'm crazy, but I, um, I'm, I'm super into a lot of different things. And this is a side I don't really talk about too much on YouTube, but this is a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous Oracle card deck. I've been reading for um, quite a while now. Um, but these are from Colette Baron reed and I have another deck, like my favorite deck is by her, and so I wanted another of, a deck of hers, and I am in love with this deck. I just was playing around with it last night, but it is so nice. Sorry. It's okay. Beep, beep. The art is absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if you can see on the back here a little bit. 
of the cards are just so beautiful it's 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 a beautiful beautiful deck um and i'm so so excited so i bought myself this because something i really wanted but i probably wouldn't have regularly bought for myself oh i lied there was one more thing that was in my stocking i got myself these pens they're ray dunn pens i just liked what they said so to go with my journal i have bought these for myself they say write create and edit which i felt like was appropriate so i got myself some nice new pens too okay so the last thing i'm going to show you guys is my secret santa gift and um this was all from cody's uncle's partner <laughs> so that was who my secret santa was or like who had me i guess and she completely nailed it it's just such a lovely well thought out gift and i'm so grateful and thankful for it so she got me this beautiful journal that's called the mindfulness journal and it's a big thick journal with a whole bunch of prompts of daily practices writing prompts and reflections for living in the present moment which is totally my thing like it's so on brand for me <laughs> um but it's it's full of beautiful prompts and daily exercises and thoughts and quotes and just things to help keep you grounded in the here and now which i appreciate so much and i can't wait to crack into this and start using it she put a toblerone in there because she said that growing up she always got a toblerone in her stocking and then she always put a toblerone in her kids stocking so she continued it on with all the gifts she got for everybody on christmas eve um when we got together she got everybody a toblerone so that's in there as well something else she got me was this beautiful tea uh cup these are one of the ones with the strainer inside the cup so you put the tea in there and then you stick it in there and it, it will infuse the tea so it comes with the tea infuser and the lid so you can steep it and it's so beautiful she got the lotus one i've never opened this yet so oh it's so pretty so this is the cup and here's the lid and it's all porcelain or ceramic i guess glass whatever and the infuser is actually quite large so i'm excited about that you could probably even make like a single cup of kind of French pressy coffee in there, I imagine, if you were in a pinch. And with that cup, she paired some David's tea, which is awesome. Um, I don't know if this is an exclusively Canadian thing. I think I've mentioned David's tea before and somebody mentioned that they didn't have this in America or maybe it was only Canadian. So you'll have to let me know if this is a Canadian exclusive, I'm not sure. But this one is strawberry rhubarb parfait. And it is so yummy because I had some last night. It's really, really good. It's very bright and refreshing. And I love the smell of it. It smells like the garden. Mm. Now, the last thing she put in here were some handmade items, which I'm absolutely in love with. She handmade me some um, face cloths and like bath cloths, shower cloths. So they're so pretty. I love the color she chose. It's got like a pale green and pink white and it goes into more of a coral color so she uh crocheted me three of these and then i'm so impressed by this because like we we very much crochet different things i've never tried to do something like this she also crocheted me a loofah which i love because it's reusable i don't have to throw this out i can just wash it and reuse it as many times and i can repair it because it's crocheted it's so beautiful and I'm so excited because the reason I don't usually buy loofahs is because you have to throw them out after a little while and it just feels very wasteful to me. So I was super excited to get this because I'm always getting like little shower jelly samples and, and things like that from Lush. So it would be nice to actually be able to use it with a loofah. Um, so that's gorgeous and so just thoughtful. And there was so much thought in this gift and I was just blown away when I got it. So anyway you guys that is everything we got for christmas and we got ourselves well there's like a couple other bits that you guys don't really need to see it's fine it's just like random stuff um you will definitely be seeing that more in videos and in photos to come i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to share if you got yourself anything for christmas what you ended up buying for yourself i'm always interested to see what people buy themselves for christmas because I think it's funny, but I also, you know, like sometimes you just gotta do it. Why not treat yourself? Because if, I don't know, sometimes it's hard people, some people have a hard time shopping for me. So sometimes I just like to buy myself things, but what everybody else got us is wonderful too. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know, like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you in the next one. It's almost the new year. So keep watching and we're gonna be sharing more now that Christmas is over, I'll be vlogging more regularly again. 
maybe not quite as hardcore as Vlogmas, but I'll keep I'll try and keep with it in um, this last two weeks before the new year. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in my next one. Bye!